you want to look me up, uh, just type my name and um, I'll be the top uh, search result. I'm a Tokyo based marketer, entrepreneur, and writer. Um, in the past, I worked for a company called Groupon. You might know from them. So I'm sorry for spamming you if you sign up to this. But uh, tonight, I want to talk about my, uh, my current gig uh, I've been working on lately. Um, we do uh, an advertising and marketing conference here in Tokyo. Um, actually, we do it all over the world in 12 different cities. Um, we get about 25,000 people coming to our event in Tokyo. And uh, through my, my experience in Japan marketing this conference, I've learned something really fascinating about Japan and social media and business-to-business uh, -business, uh, marketing in general. Uh, what that is, it's... Um, it's given me the pre my presentation title, um, Naked Social, is what I like to call this. Um, for those of you that are familiar with Japan and business, there's a, there's a term called uh, hadaka no tsukiyai. Um, what it means is uh, having an open relationship by stripping down naked with your coworkers. Okay, see? Okay. Okay, um, so. It's a term to uh, describe being open in business. And uh, in Japan, usually you have to get drunk or go to an onsen with your coworkers or clients to kind of really get open with them. Um, but basically, with Facebook now, you don't have to do that. And I'm going to tell you three tips how to do that um, using Facebook to continue your sales after your first meeting. The first one is basically become friends on Facebook with your business contact right after the meeting, if not during the meeting. And uh, that might be kind of awkward for you, but the easiest way to do that is to tell them you want to share a photo about them on your Facebook page for your business or whatever. Basically, offer to promote their business for them. Usually people will let you take a photo of them. So then next, what you do is you tag these people in the photos that you take with them. Um, some examples, um, here I am and uh, my colleagues with uh, the head of marketing for Plenis. It's a, a Kyushu-based marketing company. They do marketing for Hotomoto Bentos and uh, some soccer teams. They, they do a lot of stuff. Um, so in marketing, our event to Kyushu residents, we took photos with uh, various business leaders and shared it on our business page and we tagged these individuals. Um, what we began to see is uh, we would reach all of their friends and it gave us free marketing. And so we got exposure. Um, here's another example. Um, president of our company and my colleague <laughs> with uh, a famous um, an e-commerce company uh, sales guy. And um, they're famous for their work with soccer. And so we added this photo to our Facebook page and we tagged them and then they shared it with their Facebook page. Here's another one. Some people don't like this, actually. Um, they don't like having a photo of them on the website. So we said, well, can we take a photo in your office and share your company with our fans? And so we took this photo without the members of uh, the company. So what this did for us, um, with, a with a strategy, when we do this, you can see a huge reach increase. Um, and on the left side is uh, our reach during our event. Um, so it's going to be huge already. People are talking about the event. We have famous people like uh, 48 talking to me and Amazon president speaking. So it's huge right there. But then after event, we did this uh, tag, this photo tagging strategy, and we, we received equal reach and uh, buzz on Facebook. Um, without doing a lot of work, we just tagged 20 people or so through a few photos. So as you can see, even though we have 1,800 likes, our reach is four times that. And uh, the people we're, that are seeing this, friends of fans basically, um, which is our, our clientele, it's almost 600,000. Uh, these are all very well connected business people, so um, we're able to reach a lot of people without a lot of Here's a, a ranking we did for our speakers um, based upon the questionnaire after. And um, we tagged these individuals on Facebook. They're, they're pretty well-known business leaders. So when they shared this with their followers, um, 
it was a huge thing. So then the third way you can um, basically break the bounds of, uh, of kind of the barrier in business, especially in Japan, is to continually contact using Facebook. Um, it's really tough to open new business contacts in, in Japan. So this is a very important part. Um, it doesn't take a lot of work after you get the initial friend out on Facebook and you start tagging them. Um, you just kind of add really nice, positive content, uh, comments on photos and whatnot. Uh, one such example um, was a business leader uh, on the right in Kyushu, the famous uh, agency head. And uh, he always tags photos with other business leaders when he goes out to eat with them. So in business setai, in, in dinner with his team, he tags everyone and shares it. I, I kind of stole this strategy from him. But, uh, and he, he always gets like 60 likes on every, every photo, gets 20 comments or more. And uh, he's just always, um, his name is always in the bias, basically, because of this. Um, so one of the ways I keep in contact with uh, these guys, these advertising guys, is I always make uh, comments uh, on these photos. And uh, in this particular one, it's a bunny bar. Basically, um, really beautiful women dress up as bunnies, and you can drink with them for a premium price. Um, in this example, he and uh, an agency head were, took this photo. And so I commented, I was nearby in Rapongi, and I said, oh, Wow, this is this is great. I'm also in Rapongi, and uh, they said, "Oh, come on, we're over here." And I've been keeping this continuous positive contact with these guys, and so they invited me over. So then I called up with, "Okay, I'll go." And then we took a similar photo of me in this bunny bar, and uh, um, a lot of people added me on Facebook after this because they had not met me at the art, at our events, but they wanted to talk to me because I took these photos with these famous businesses. So, um, so basically, um, what I wanted to relate to you today is it's really hard to, to, to do uh, business to business in Japan, um, especially as a foreigner. Um, but what you can do is you can break the bounds using Facebook. And it's, it's a phenomenon happening right now. LinkedIn isn't kicking off because Japanese business people um, really like to be 100% their work. Um, so their personal lives and their work lives melt. Uh, Facebook is a perfect platform for that. And uh, in my experiences, I found it to be a very successful strategy. Um, that is all I have to say today. Uh, if you have any questions or comments or have uh, something to say to add, uh, just feel free. We have uh, two minutes or so left. Okay, well, um, anyways, back to uh, Ad Tech Tokyo. We're going to have an event in September, 18th and 19th. Um, it's free to come to check out all these companies and meet business leaders, uh, meet uh, consultants, whatnot. Um, you should definitely check us out, Ad Tech Tokyo, Google it, or talk. And um, we have some notable keynote speakers, whatnot, that I think you can. I've got a question. Okay. When you're communicating with these guys on Facebook, are you using Japanese or English? So I just saw you speak Japanese down here at the bottom here on your thing. Right, uh, I'm fluent in Japanese, so it's kind of easy for me to do that. Uh, but many of them actually, they, they speak English, especially the C-level individuals. Uh, all the guys in the pictures, they all speak English to a conversation with you, so. What do they prefer, to be addressed at on Facebook, in English or Japanese? Yeah, it's kind of cool to speak in English, so um, even though you might think you have a disadvantage, not speaking Japanese, you can still get an in by speaking English, and their friends will be like, oh, this guy's so international, i got to join in, and they'll say, like, oh, they'll, they'll, they'll add something that's really bad in English, but um, they're trying to basically join in, so you kind of have a, an edge, like me drinking with those guys at the, the bunny bar, it's kind of unconventional, but um, I'm a foreigner, and they wanted to show me this, this bar with girls, and so um, you, you actually have an edge as well. You don't have to take the traditional route. Yeah. Anyways, Facebook is, it has really helped me to kind of break that initial hot uh, mind they call it, yeah. so the wall before you really open business. Do you have any questions? Yes. Um, 
it's Ad Tech Tokyo, A D T E C H, and then Tokyo. Um, or you can just search Ad Tech and you can go to the Tokyo site via the global site. It's free for the exhibition hall and to just kind of go to the, the sponsored workshops. So we have a lot of uh, agencies teaching you how to send emails better and whatnot. Um, if you want a simultaneous interpretation for the Japanese sections, it's 3,000 yen for a, a little earpiece. Um, but otherwise, it's free. Then there's some premium sessions, um, with panel discussions, and networking parties that are, you have to pay for. But uh, the base is, is in Japanese. Uh, both languages, about 30% of it is in English. Uh, when we invite Amazon's president, he speaks in English, for example. While the Japanese readers tend to speak in English.